When my wife and I were shopping for a new car for my wife, one of the determining factors was how well a car seat would fit in the back seat while somebody was sitting in the passenger seat in front of it. So we were looking at a few different cars and the Tesla Model Y was the winner because it had the most room with a car seat while also having a passenger in the front seat. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how well the car seat fits in the back. We're gonna put it on both sides and we're also gonna show how well a stroller fits in the trunk. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, we're here in the front seat of the Tesla Model Y and right now we've got the car seat directly behind me. We don't normally drive with the car seat behind the driver, but we went on a road trip a couple weeks ago and we put the car seat here so that my wife could sit in the middle and we could also have the one seat folded down with my golf clubs and some other cargo that we were taking on the trip. So I'm six feet tall. As you can see, I'm pretty comfortable sitting here. Um, this is where I would normally sit anyway. The car seat is butted up right next to the back of the seat. But to be honest, I wouldn't want my seat farther back at all, even if the car seat wasn't there. And it's nice that you can also adjust the steering wheel here. So if you were taller than me or if you or shorter and needed to, you could adjust the steering wheel um, to where you need it. But for me, with the car seat behind me, I still fit very comfortably here. When I'm in autopilot, um, I have my legs here. My knees don't usually get in the way of the steering wheel. So that was a plus for us and that was a big determining factor. So it fits really well. Now I'm gonna show you how the car seat fits getting in and out of the car. So one thing that we found to be a little frustrating with this car is the door doesn't quite open up enough. We wish the car door would open to maybe a direct 90 degree angle because it would make it easier to get the car seat in and out. Now it's not a huge deal, but it is one of those things that kind of starts to bother you every time. But still pretty easy to get the car seat out. And then getting the car seat back in, if the door was open more, you could get it in straight. But it fits in really nice. It's flush with the back seat. What did you say? <laughs> I was going to say, we have the Nuna. Our car seat is the Nuna. What model is it? It is the Pippa. Pippa. The Nuna Pippa. Isn't this like the Lamborghini of car seats? Is that what you said? <laughs> no. This is the one my wife had to have. <laughs> we bought that one for the Dream Drape and for the extended leg for more support and more safety. So it's supposed to be one of the top rated safety car seats. Yeah. One thing that is nice though about this car compared to the Model 3, the Model Y is a lot taller here. So there is more room for getting the car seat in, even though the door doesn't open all the way. But I'm going to come around and show the door. So that's as far as the door opens. So we do wish that it opened a little bit more to be able to get the car seat in and out, but it does the job. user error and not fault of the car. Okay, now we're gonna put the car seat on the passenger side and see how well it fits. So, tell me once the chair is back all the way. There.
Hey, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, this was one of the main reasons we picked the Tesla over a couple different cars. It's because in other cars, with the car seat behind me, if I was to ever sit in the passenger seat while my wife was driving, my knees were clear up in the dashboard and it was very uncomfortable. Where this car, I don't feel like I'm squished. So most of the time I'm driving when my wife and kid are in the car, but when I'm not, I'm still comfortable here. Moving now to the back of the Tesla, there's a couple things we wanted to show you with the trunk. First off, we love that it's a hatchback because it opens up so high that you never have to worry about hitting your head when you're getting in and out. And it makes for a lot of room pulling and loading stuff in and out of the car. Another thing we really love is the extra cargo space here. There's tons of space. Um, we filled all of this when we went on our road trip and it's nice because it doesn't take up the trunk space. It's just here in the extra cargo. So that folds down. Um, this nice cover doesn't come with it. We got this off Amazon, but you've got these pockets here on the side that store a lot of things. Always got to keep diapers and wipes. This flat surface here is really helpful. We've used it a few times for changing the baby's diaper. When we're out and about, you just pull the stroller out real quick, throw the baby here, change the diaper, and you're good to go. But we wanted to show you real quick how the stroller fits. So tell us about this stroller. Which one is so, it? So this one is the Upper Baby Vista. It is definitely my favorite stroller of all of them. We tested out a lot of them at a store and it just rolls the smoothest and folds up easy and it also converts into a double stroller. Um, if we plan to have more kids then we can have more seats on it. But it fits very nicely folded up in the back. You still have room to close the trunk. It's nice too. It doesn't have to be right in the center. It can be on either side. Um, I do wish the trunk was a little bit deeper just because if this is back farther, the trunk's not going to shut. It'll hit here. But as long as you don't have other stuff in the trunk, you should be fine. You can also fit it this way. Fits straight across. Still gives you plenty of room here to load other stuff in the trunk. So. All right, well, that is the end of the video. Sums up fitting the car seat and the stroller. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.